Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with a really fast tutorial, um, but more importantly, to say thank you to you because my channel just hit 14,000 subscribers. So today, we're going to make a necklace and earring set that's pretty beginner friendly, and we're going to have a giveaway. So I'll announce the giveaway later. That's for because we reached 14,000 subscribers. Um, but today I'll be using the September Magical Mystery Bead Box from Jesse James Beads. Um, and I love this guy. He's so cool. Um, we're going to be just displaying this in a statement necklace today. And statement doesn't mean difficult. Statement means eye grabbing to me. Statement means special. So yeah. we're going to be making a special necklace. Now, some of you might be like, this is not really a tutorial. Well, I, like I said, it's going to be special and um, simple. So, well, maybe not simple, but fast. So we got these really cool um, strands, Summer Migration and Dusk Flutter. And we're going to be using these to create the necklace today. Um, I am going to pick a connection point on my moth. And I think it's it's going to be right about here-ish. So I'm going to get out some, some jump rings. So I have something a little bit more easily connected to with my, we're just going to string today. I also got out some Jesse James Beads Chain Reaction in a very neutral color. Since we're already using silver, I got out um, the clear because uh, there's some clear-ish beads on this side. And then we're going to make a really fast pair of earrings as well. So let me put these jump rings on my mod. I hope you're all enjoying the 13 days of Halloween. I'm having so much fun. Um, it really gave me back some mojo. I'm very overwhelmed with selling my house and getting things ready. And uh, it's just, it's a fun, it's a fun time. All right, so I have my jump ring on this side. I'm just gonna make sure that's really close. No kind of gap. Because I don't want my bead stringing wire to come undone. And you can use a wire guard there if you're really concerned about it. Normally I don't use wire guards, but this is probably a situation where I would recommend it. So maybe I'll grab one out of my stash. I could also just use the wire guard to connect onto the moth. But I want it to articulate a little bit better than just it, than it would sticking to the moth itself. So I want a little bit of movement. I'm just gonna make sure that this is, yeah, this is double-sided. I think this is the back though. So I'm gonna use, I, I, you really can't tell. I got out my silver wire guards, just need two. I am using Beadalon bead stringing wire in silver, 19 strand today. And I think I'm gonna crimp onto my um, moth before I start stringing. It just seems a little easier. So I need some crimp beads. And I'm just gonna take my wire guard, slip that around my jump ring. Put on my um, crimp bead and slide that through my wire guard. Again, you don't need that jump ring. I'm choosing to use it as a second connection point, but the wire guard would take care of that in this situation if you just wanted to put the wire guard on the moth. All right, so we have that through. I'm gonna come back through my crimp bead, slide that down. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks fine. I will go ahead and crimp. First, I'm gonna close up that wire guard a little bit. So I'm gonna hold on to my crimp and then kind of close that up. There we go. And then I just want to make sure that my wires aren't crossed and then slip that in my crimping, uh, my crimp bead and squish. And then I will turn 90 degrees, move it up in my pliers. It's whoop. 
and squish again. I'll do it again one more time. We can put a wire, um, a crimp cover on this. I think I will because it, it'll look a little bit more finished. And I'll come back in at the end and do that. I'm gonna cut a length of my wire off. Don't really need more, much more than the length of this strand. And you can just choose whatever side you want to put your, this, this will actually probably be a reversible necklace, but whatever side you want to put your purple side on, um, I'm going to do the this right side because it's left on the screen, but it'll be right if I switch it to my side. And I am just going to take the beads that they put on this beautiful strand and slide those right on to my necklace. The designers at JJB are really good at coordinating beads and making stunning strands. I don't have to do the work here, they already did it. So um, if you're ever in a rut, this is a fantastic way to tackle it. Um, go grab a strand that's already curated for you and string it onto a necklace with a pendant. I forget to do that sometimes, you know? Um, especially on those days when I'm overwhelmed. So if you if jewelry making is your safe place or makes you happy and gets you out of your head, go grab a strand, restring it with a pendant and be done with it. <laughs> That's a great way. And you can always undo it later if you're so inclined. So we have the right side strung. I'm gonna open up my jump, uh, my chain reaction. And I am going to string onto this piece right here. Okay. So that way I don't need a wire guard because there isn't anything sharp and you can't, it, it's, it's wire wrapped closed, so it's not gonna escape like it would a jump ring if there was an opening. Put on my crimp, come through my chain, and come back down. I'm just gonna come back down through a couple beads, and I wanna be careful about how tight I do this because um, I don't want to just strand string in a straight line. So I'm going to pull that tight, but not too tight. And then I'm going to crimp. And that one actually ended up being more of like a flat crimp. And if I start trying to curl it, it will um, it will crack. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's totally secure. I'm gonna cover it up with a crimp cover anyway, so it don't it doesn't it won't hurt it. If you have trouble with dexterity or small spots or even crimping in general, flat crimp is gonna save you every time. All right, so we have our rights done left side on your screen and I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay I'm back. Um, th so just word to the wise the the two sides won't match up because this side was a little bit longer just by a bead or so and I added um, these orange crystals from one of the mixes in the box. So every all the beads on this necklace are in the box. I still need to put the bead covers on. I'll show you one and then I'll just do the rest. Snap that on there. And then I'm gonna close with my crimping pliers and then slowly keep closing. You don't wanna try and do it all at once uh, because it will like 
squish and it just it won't look as good if you take your time I know I say this a lot on my channel just take your time um, if this necklace is your 10 minute and go necklace you don't need the bead crimp, uh, cup, cap covers you could do that later all, right. all my bead covers are on and I'm just going to measure this against my own neck and see where I'd like the necklace to be. I don't want this necklace to be very long. I mean, I obviously I put a whole string of chain reaction on and I'm just going to gauge it, but you could have this be a really long necklace. I want this to be showcased around the neck though. So it's gonna be a shorter right. I'm gonna cut it at these two cl uh, crystals right here. And then I am gonna use this cute little butterfly um, toggle that I had in my stash. So um, it really is moth and butterfly on this necklace. I'm just gonna grab a couple jump rings. And we're finished. Isn't that a pretty toggle? Love that. We are finished. This is the cutest, fastest necklace ever, and it's super blingy. So if you like sparkle, this is definitely for you. And people are gonna be like, where'd you get that? That is so cool. Tell me all about it. And I love uh, conversation starters. So there's our necklace and then we're just gonna make a really quick pair of earrings so I brought out these two beads from the kit this is actually a bead so you can put a bead through it I wanted to hang the um, butterfly below it uh, I'm just gonna get out two more jump rings and a ball head pin and I am just gonna Wire, wire wrap this um, butterfly into a dangle. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. And I want this to, I want the purple part to be the front. There we go, but I guess it won't matter. I'll probably move around a little bit. And then I'm just gonna hold on to my loop with my pliers and twist that around. These are 24 gauge. They're in my Amazon shop. And I'll put that link in the description of this video. All right, so I'm gonna snip that back here. Grab my jump rings. So you're gonna need three jump rings for this earring, possibly. Put a jump ring up here. And another jump ring. Then grab your ear wire.
pop that on and you have a, a quick and fun earring. You can absolutely put something in the middle, but I really like that open negative space. Isn't that cute? And there we have our pair, so cute, and our statement necklace. So we're at the point where I'm sure all of you are very excited to hear what the giveaway is. The giveaway is this exact magical mystery bead box from Jesse James Beads. I haven't even opened this one, but I am gonna open it and show you what's in it just to refresh your memory. And then I am also going to put in a strand of the um, chain reaction and one of these clasps in case you want to make that exact necklace. Isn't that fun? I'm so excited. Okay, just to refresh your memory, there is a Monarch Morning Bead Mix fluttering butterfly charms, cup chain, summer migration bead strand, dusk flutter bead strand, empress beauty bead mix, monarch butterfly charms, so loaded fancy wing pair and the moth charm and like I said I'm gonna put in a clasp and um, a pack of chain reaction so you're able to make that same necklace now if you are if you really really want this box and um, you can't wait for the giveaway to end make sure you pop on over to Jesse James Beads. The link, the link is in the description of this, this video and it's an affiliate link and it helps me keep making videos. Um, we gotta we gotta keep the lights on here. So um, to win this box, I would love for you to leave a comment saying um, something that you're looking forward to or what your favorite season is. Um, so make sure that you're leaving the comment subscribing and liking this video and good luck. I'm going to pull the winners in one week and I'm going to put the date across here. So good luck. Um, happy commenting and I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Why are you all the way over there? Is it too hot? Oh, do you want a tummy rub? You're leaving little dust bunnies everywhere with your hair. Do you want a tummy rub? Oh, yeah, the baby. Yeah, that's a baby. Yeah, oh, you love that.